Well, good morning, Wolf Park. So we're the Kid Power with Rachel show. And thanks for being here with us. All right, we've got some props for kids. Got some ribbons to wave. So if you'd like one, go ahead, raise your hand. We got plenty for everybody. We love to share our toys. today. Raise your hand if your family member also happens to be a good friend of yours. <laughs> Isn't it nice when it works out that way? It's not always the case, you know. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. Everybody wants to be take you back to Ike and Tina Turner days. You old hippies, I know you're out there. <laughs> We've, uh, I re lyric this song, uh, made it about summer vacation. Is everybody having a good summer vacation? Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Anybody riding your bike? Woo I am. How about having ice cream? Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about going swimming? Yeah. Anybody got a cabin to get to go to? No. A few I'm, cabins. I don't have a cabin, but I have friends with cabins. That's <laughs> it. It's kind of like having a boat. You don't really want to have a boat. You want to have a friend that has a boat. <laughs> well, Indeed. this is a song about summer vacation.
just like she wanted me to. a way to get started. All right. Well, we're going to go to the 1940s, and Mr. Woody Guthrie wrote this song. It's a beautiful song about this great country that we live in. Um, it's called This Land is Your Land, and um, we've still got those ribbons out there, and uh, yep, and we've got one here on the surfboard. Kids, you are welcome to come and, and ride the surfboards or have a seat on the surfboard or stay with your family, whichever you prefer. Um, my name is Rachel. Everybody say hi, Rachel. Hi, hi Rachel. Rachel. And the name of our show is called Kid Power, but we like to call it Kid, Kid Power. Power. On the count of three, can everybody please say that with us? One, two, three. Kid, Kid Power. Nice. nice. All right. Kid Power is the power to be kind to ourselves. Please point to yourself. Kind towards others and kind to the whole planet. Everybody give me a big yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Like Arnold. Yeah, you're all pumped up. Oh yeah, we all pumped up there. There we go. for the Minnesota Sesquicentennial. Oh, that's a big <laughs> word, Rachel. That's a big sixth grade word. Yeah, it is. Sesquicentennial. That was back in 2008. Mm -hmm. Anybody know how old Minnesota was when we celebrated our Sesquicentennial? 
Wait, I heard 150. Oh. We have a winner. Were, were you the valedictorian of your class? Oh, okay. We have a repeat attender. We love it. <laughs> Very good. 150 years old is Minnesota. Let's hear it for Minnesota. Woohoo! Come on, everybody, give me a big oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure, you betcha. For sure, you betcha. Oofta. Oofta. So we sang this verse at the Capitol. We've got a lot of fancy dancers out there. If you're not using one of the ribbons, please bring it down so one of the other kids can use it. Um, we love sharing our toys. It's, uh, it's a good thing. And uh, we're going to do a song right now that's uh, actually a Jackson 5 song. And recorded, when was this recorded, uh, Sophie? Do you, do you Released 1970, I believe. About 1970, okay. It's a while so, ago. So we're going to show you some sign language, all right? So uh, Kid Power dancers are going to show you. So give us an A. A. Give us a B. B. How about a C? C. How about a Do, Re, Mi? Do, Re, Mi. How about a one, two, three? One, two, three. Now show me the baby. I think we have some baby. There's a baby right there. Where's the babies in the house? There's a baby in the house. Got, yeah, the there's a baby. In the house. Show the baby. They're very the baby. proud to be there. babies. <laughs> they can't be otherwise. No, they can be only be themselves. What a what a good thing. All right. So here we go.
right. We featured uh, Sophie on the vocals for that one. Give it up for Sophie Emery. So I, uh, again, my name is Rachel, and we're going to introduce the band here. Maybe we can get a little, uh, little something, something, uh, Polly. <laughs> a little music to introduce the band. Yeah, if you know how to snap, <laughs> go ahead and snap. We're now in a cool, funky <laughs> jazz club. Oh, yeah. I love it. We got Enzo over there on the cajon. That's the beatbox. Let's give it up for Enzo. Right, Enzo. And his little big brother. Go ahead and introduce yourself there. Hello, my name is Luca. Hey, everybody say, hey, Luca. Hey, Luca. And I introduce you to Sophie. Say, hey, Sophie. Hey, Sophie. Sophie's got a big sister. Her name's Maggie. Say, hey, Maggie. Hey, Maggie. Over here on the keyboard, backup vocals, and drum machine, and firing the the tracks and <laughs> when we need them. She's a one woman band, this woman. Her name is Shannon Pierce. Give it up for Shannon. Hey, thanks everybody. Good morning. So so happy to be here. And back there on the lead guitar, the one, the only earring man. <laughs> Paul Peterson. Yeah, Paul. Hey, we want to give a shout out to John back there running our camera. Hey John. Thank you so much. He's a staple here. Uh, we really appreciate you through the years uh, videotaping this and uh, showing it here in St. Louis Park. We love playing this park. Thank you so much, John. And Maddie over here from St. Louis Park and Rec, thank you for being here. and Thanks for hiring us back. All right, it's time to jump, boys and girls. We are going to get our jumpers on. So pretend you are in a big jump up. And we're going to do a song I wrote called Jump Into Books. You have to know how to finish this phrase. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like it. Sam, I am. One fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. You better jump, jump, jump right into books. I'm gonna take another look. Oh yeah, I think I'm getting hooked. the phrases in a silly voice. Maggie's gonna start us off. You're gonna have to try to match Maggie's silly voice. Here we go. So we just heard from kind of a soprano and Maggie, and now Luca, who used to be a soprano, then he went to a tenor, then he went to a baritone, and now he sings bass. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing with getting older, huh? <laughs> Things happen. <laughs> I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like it. Sam, I am. Red fish, blue fish. Rander, rander, what do you see? I, I see, see a red bird looking at me. Jump, jump, jump right into books. I'm gonna take another look. Oh yeah, I think I'm getting hooked. I'm gonna jump into books. Yeah. 
I feel the love in the house, St. Louis Park. Do you feel the love? Say yeah. 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 Oh, give me an L. Give me an O. How about a V? How about an E? How about a big L? How about a big O? How about a big B? My favorite, a big E. All right, we're going to call the kids down. For the way you look. Come on down, at boys me. and girls. Fill up the stage. Oh, Come on. He's for the only one I see. He is very, very extraordinary. He is even more than anyone that you adore and love. A big hug right now and tell them you love them. It's all about love. It's what the world needs now is love, sweet love. We're going to introduce our theme song. As you remember, our show is called Kid Power, but we like to call it Kid, Kid Power. Power. So everybody, please put an I love you sign on one hand and put a peace sign on the other hand. Where there is love, there is peace. Where there is peace, there is love in our hearts, in our families, in our community, and in our world. Please make the letter K with your body. Good. There's a, there's a picture of a boy making a letter K for Kid Power. And remind me, Kid Power is the power to be what? Oh, Luca's going to do a little magic with the signs. Now, kid power is kind power. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. All right, so there is a dance portion of this song. Everybody do the twist. Turn around. Raise the roof. Push it down. We're going to do that three times. Then it's march two, three, kick, march two, three, jump. We go down low. Twist your way up. Put your hands over your head with an I love you sign and a peace sign. Make a letter K with your body and yell kid power. We're going to hand out a prize for our best dancers. We've got some guitar picks that we're going to hand out. So if you want to be in the dance contest, you got to be up front here. That's it. When I know I'm your dance and you're close like this, Baba Shiba, Baba Baba Shiba. Name of the dance is the Kid Power Twist. Baba Shiba, Baba Baba Shiba. You like it? Like this, the Kid Power Twist. Baba Shiba, Baba Baba Shiba. Turn around.
job, kids. We're gonna have we're gonna hand out some more guitar picks, and I'm really glad the girl, the little girl that's got a broken arm and a cast, but she's got her unicorn. Right? Your little unicorn helping you heal. It's not a unicorn. It's a what? It's a kitty corn. It's a oh, kitty corn. even better. Kitties yeah. and unicorns. Those are Instead very magical together. It's a candy corn. Together. It's a kitty corn. <laughs> wow. Yeah. God, get with the program there, Ray. Yeah, I'm yeah. so, I'm so out, of corn the, there. out of the kitty corn loop. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a kitty corny cast. Wait a second. She's got things to say. Oh, she came from dance and music class to us, so we feel honored that we made the lineup this morning. No this is kidding. like like cooling down player. from dance class. We have a tennis player. All right. Oh my goodness. Wow. So next up, we have a tune that Rachel wrote. It's called "Big Kid Now." So we have a few questions for everybody out in the audience, right, Rach? Raise your hand if you're a big kid. I oh. love it. I love it when the adults raise their hand. A lot of hand. big kids out there. Daddy, Daddy just wrote his. <laughs> you were the first person to raise your hand, sir. <laughs> okay, I love, I love it. We're uh, we're big kids. Uh, I don't. Uh, I'm a big kid. I don't act my age. I act my shoe size, and that's nine and a half. I generally do pretty well. How am I doing today? Yay! I say thumbs up. <laughs> All right. So, um, how many of you are one year older than you were last year at this time? Everyone. Okay, not me. I'm getting. I'm getting a year younger. Forget that getting older bit. All right. So I want on the count of three, I want everybody put your hands up in the air, make some fists, because I want you to say, "Big kid now." Big, Big kid, kid now. now. Show me how strong you are. A little yeah. bit strong. Yeah. And uh, say, uh, "Mama, don't stop me." Mama, Mama don't, don't stop, stop me. me. Daddy, just watch me. Daddy, Daddy just, just watch me. Because I can do things by myself. Because I, I can do things by myself. myself. Good. Goodbye to my tricycle. Training wheels on my bicycle. Huh. I'm flying solo and it sure feels good. I got a reputation of sheer determination. and boys. Now my tickle me Elmo is tickling you and you and you and you and you. It's been a year since I've had a time out. I no longer scream and shout. I had my last temper tantrum when I was two. But last week my car broke down on 35W. I had a flat tire. It was really hot and I had a little bit of a meltdown. All rage, it's okay. Remember, remember who you are? Um, You're a... Big, big kid now! One year older, I'm a big kid now. Little bit bolder, I'm a big kid now. I can do it by myself. I'm a big kid now. Mama, don't stop me, I'm a big kid now. Daddy, just watch me, I'm a big kid now. I can do it by myself. Everybody turn to hit the lights and I know that recycling is right Earth Day is every day and that's a fact now I don't mean to cause a scene but I believe I'm turning green we all know green is the new 
some really good dancing in there. I see, you know what I love looking out in Minnesota? I love looking out and seeing lots of different colors of hair and skin. We have a diversity here in Minnesota and uh, it's a good, good thing. I love being a little different. Anybody out there feel like you're maybe a little bit different? Yeah, it's a good thing, right? It's a good, you know, yeah. what do you call it, Paul? Unique. Unique. Just like a rabbit. <gasps> hey, do you know how you catch a unique rabbit? How do you catch a unique rabbit? Unique upon him. Oh. oh no. Well, no, well no. but what if it's a tame rabbit? <laughs> tame way. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Don't tell us you're here all week. No, yeah, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. I guess I won't be playing the comedy club tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Got to work on my joke selection. All right, so this is a song by Butterfly Boucher. That's her name. Where's she from, Ray? She's from Australia. Oh, good. Crikey. 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 So I'm going to do this song in my best Australian accent. Everybody say, I'm different, different, different. Now put your hand on your hip. Say, nobody is like me. Different, different, and that's okay with me. All right, we're going to give away some more guitar picks for our best dancers on this one. She's really unique. Well, I think we're all different, different, different. And that's okay with me. Yeah, that's okay with me. You know, you're different, different, different. Nobody is like you. Different, different, different. And that's okay with me. Yeah, that's okay with me. Yeah, that's okay with me. That's a new song for me. I didn't know that song. A little girl asked me to come and perform for her birthday party, and that was her favorite song. And she said, would you learn that song for me? And I said, I sure would. And now it's one of my favorite songs. We have another original song, Rach, that you wrote about uh, a nocturnal animal. All right, do I have any nature lovers in the audience? Hey, hey, got my friend Leanne Landstrom here, one of my favorite naturalists. Awesome. And uh, I had the pleasure of working at the Minnesota Zoo and working with this animal. This animal has really, really big eyes. 
boys and girls, can you put on your big, big animal eyes? Mm. All right, I'm going to give you another clue. This animal has special ears, really, really good hearing. Cup your hands like this. Put your elbows out and put your hands behind your ears. You should be able to hear me a little bit better. This animal can hear the footsteps of a little mouse underneath two feet of snow. This animal has some sharp claws called talons. Mm. Can you show me your talons? And this animal is nocturnal. Nocturnal begins with what letter? N. N. Good. So when does this animal come out? Nighttime, night. which also begins with the letter N. Who, 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 who knows what animal I'm talking? Oh, yeah. we got oh. some smarty pants up here. Yeah. Smarty pants. They're pretty smart here in St. Louis <laughs> Park. All right. So now I want to teach you how to hoot, unless of course you don't give a hoot. <laughs> Um, like a barred owl, one of Minnesota's uh, very, very common owls. It sounds like this. Hoo, 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 hoo. Some people say that sounds like, who, who, who cooks for you? And that's the name of this song I wrote. Can you please say it with me? Who, 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 now point to somebody and say, who cooks for you? Who cooks, who cooks for, you? for you? The owl has some great big eyes, helps them to see in the night when they fly. Listen as they sing their song, come on, everybody. Woo, so long, here we go. your big owl eyes on. The owl has some special eyes. Helps them to see in the night when they fly. Listen as they sing their song. Come on, everybody, won't you? Hoot along. some special ears helps them to really hear eyes owl has some great big eyes helps them to see in the night and they fly listen as they sing their song come on everybody won't ya hoot along Your sharp talons. With their talons, they catch some mice. A meal of mice. Mm -mm, how oh, nice. nice ears. Owl has some special ears. Helps them to really hear eyes. Owl has some great big eyes. Helps them to see in the night when they fly. Listen as they sing. Rachel Krug. All right, we're going to do another original song, and it's called Wrap Yourself in a Rainbow. I wrote this song for a group of kids whose parents had cancer, and uh, it, was a, it was a support group, and uh, they really needed some comfort, so I thought about how comforting it would be just, just to wrap in a rainbow. So I wrote this song, and... Um, We've got a special umbrella here that will help us out with all the colors of the rainbow. Everybody count to three, and, and Luca's going to do some magic. Ready? One, 
two, three. three. Oh, there <laughs> it is. Wow. R stands for? Red. Red. O stands for? Orange. Y stands for? Yellow. G stands for? Green. B stands for? Blue. And the last two colors are indigo and, and violet. violet. Wrap yourself in a rainbow. If you wrap yourself in a rainbow, all the colors you'll find, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet's my favorite kind. If you wrap yourself in a rainbow, all the colors you'll be for the pot of gold wrapped up inside you and me so this is a great song to pick up one of your kids and do a little dance with them R stands for red, red. the berries on the vine and O stands for orange a juice that tastes so fine and Y stands for yellow the sun that always shines and G is for Green grass that grows all the time. B is for blue, the color of the sky. Indigo and violet make a sunset so divine. If you wrap yourself in a rainbow, all the colors you'll find. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. Violet's my favorite kind. All right, we're gonna we're gonna really uh, switch gears here. We're gonna go back to the '60s <laughs> and to a, 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 a song called "Wild Thing." I'm oh, a mild thing. Oh, raise your hand if you're more of a mild thing. Okay. Yeah, I'd say I'm more of a mild thing. Okay. We got It's the balance of life, right? So uh, we're gonna feature. Um, oh, we're we're handing out some boom whackers here. Mm -hmm. We're going to feature Paul Peterson on this song by the Trogs. <laughs> Yourself. And then clean your room up now and again. Right? 
on the guitar. Paul, I got get, a little extra wild. Got a little, got a little extra wild there. That's good. That's good. Hey, um, that's a perfect setup because I've got a couple of wild things. Well, i got a lot of wild things up here in the audience. Um, but I've got some live animals. Um, I used to work at the, the Minnesota Zoo uh, for, for about 10 years. And I, I finally escaped. I mean, <laughs> finally left the zoo. Um, but I have a I have a couple of animals. Um, I now rescue animals, and I bring them into my programs, and they're my um, they're my kindness ambassadors. They're here to teach us all kinds of lessons that that nature has to teach us about being different and diversity, and that mm, even if something uh, looks a little different or a little spiky, a little rough around the edges, really, on the inside, we're all the same. We're all the same. And we all need three things. Boys and girls, help me out. We need clean look, 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 water. We need um, good food. And we need a safe place to, to sleep. Mm -hmm. And we need love. Mm -hmm. So I have, um, I have a couple of animals that I want to bring out. We're actually going to start off um, with a, um, a furry burry creature. And now we have a lot in common with this animal. How many of you like, uh, like to run fast? Raise your hand. Good. So does this animal. How many of you like to eat uh, fresh fruits and vegetables? Good. So does this animal. How many of you like to eat um, sunflower seeds or peanuts? So does this animal. Oh, yes. Oh, it looks like a mouse, doesn't it? Yeah. But look at that tail. It's a little different than a mouse tail. Mm-hmm. 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 Everybody take your pointer finger. Point right here. What are you pointing to? Your chin. Now get the chills like you could just, like you just ate your bomb pop way too fast and you got a brain freeze. <laughs> and say chin chilla. Chin chilla. This is a chin chilla. Mm hmm. Yep. And his name is um, Junior. Actually, Twitch Junior. And he originally is from the Andes Mountains of Peru. And down in Peru, they speak Spanish. And Enzo speaks Spanish. I'm so also from Peru. Coinky winky, day. Coinky winky, look at that. <laughs> um, so he's going to um, help us uh, say hello in Spanish. Hello, my friend. How are you? Okay, everybody, repeat after me. Hola, amigo. Hola, amigo. ¿Cómo estás? And the chinchilla would say, Muy bien, gracias. How many of you are soft and cuddly and lovable and adorable like the chinchilla? Mm. Mm -hmm. How many of you like to take a bath? How many of you like to take a bath in a bathtub full of dust? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Paul. <laughs> That's what they do. They roll around in a little bit of volcanic ash, and it helps to uh, dry up their, their fur. Now, this guy is kind of a um, special needs uh, um, chinchilla. 
See how he's missing his fur back here and a little bit on his tail? So he has a little nervous issue. He has some anxiety. And, um, and I had him on some medication for a while, at, at, actually some antidepressants. <laughs> and it seemed to help a little bit. But I think mostly it just helps for him to have love and for me to keep him calm. And you know, a lot of animals and a lot of people have different issues. And um, actually, because he chews his fur, if he were, um, he, they wouldn't keep him alive if he were in a pet store. So I'm really glad that I ended up with him so he could come out here and meet all of you. And I think he's beautiful just the way he is, don't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to say goodbye now. Actually, I'm going to give him a treat because he's been really good, don't you think? And I believe in treats. I believe in briber positive reinforcement. <laughs> so let's see if he wants a little raisin. That's his treat. I can't give him too many treats. It's like, you guys, you can't have too many sweets. It's not good for your teeth. So I can only give him one a day. Let's see if he wants that. Oh, I think he wants that treat. Show me your whiskers if you were a chinchilla. Can you wiggle your whiskers? You'll be like Twitch Jr. Mm, good. Can you put your big, big uh, chinchilla ears on? They can hear really well. Mm -hmm. And they can run super fast. All right, now we're going to say goodbye, my friend, in Spanish. Hey, ready? Adios, amigo. And he'd say, hasta la vista, baby. All right, a hand for our chinchilla. They still do make chinchilla coats, by the way, which kind of breaks my heart. Takes about 400 chinchillas. They cost about $200,000. Um, I say the best fur coat belongs to the animal that grows it. But that's my opinion. We're all entitled to our opinions. And we can voice our opinions by what we choose to buy and what we choose not to buy. I have one more animal, and this animal, remember that one was soft and cuddly and really easy to love. This one is a little spiky, a little rough around the edges, but equally as lovable. Does anybody know what that animal is? It is a lizard. Do you know what kind of lizard? This is a bearded dragon. Very good. Way to go, buddy. A bearded dragon, they're from Australia, so everybody say, good day, mate. Crikey. Let's put some shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> well, we have a lot in common with bearded dragons. How many of you like being in the sunshine? So do they. They like soaking up that vitamin D. How many of you like going on walkabouts? So do the bearded dragons. How many of you like eating your fresh fruits and vegetables? Good. So do the dragons. How many of you like eating eggs? And so do the bearded dragons. How many of you like eating an occasional cricket or superworm? Really? Really? That's a little salt and pepper? OK, that's weird. But OK. I, actually, people all over the world eat insects, and it's, uh, they don't think a thing of it. It's, it's a regular part of their diet. So um, that's our bearded dragon. And her name is uh, Shirley. Yep. And she's from Australia. Now, you see how rough her skin is and those spikes? Now, she's going to protect herself. Uh, she's got a little flap of skin right here. It's called a dewlap flap. Can you show me? Women, you don't have to do this. Embarrassing. Show me your dewlap flap right here. And everybody say, dewlap flap. Now, when they get scared, they're going to puff up that dewlap flap, and it's going to get big and black like a man's beard. <sighs> so let's puff up our beard. Ready? What, we're, here comes another bearded dragon in our territory. We don't want him here. <sighs> now puff up your whole body. <sighs> good. Very good at scaring away your enemies. Now, it's not that they're mean. It's just that they need to protect themselves, just like you and I do. And that's their special way. All right, let's say goodbye, and let's say um, good day, mate. I got one more special friend, and his name is Squeaky Bird. 
Squeaky Bird travels with me wherever I go. He's my BFF. That's my best feathered friend. <laughs> and he's been so excited because this is our final Kid Power show of the summer. So we hope to be back next summer. So check it out. Kid Power with Rich. Oh, here comes Squeaky Bird. All right, Squeaky. Squeaky. Shh, quiet. 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 Are you done squeaking? Are you sure you're done squeaking? Okay. Okay, he's, he's done squeaking, right? He's saying no? No, he's saying yes, see? All right, so. Squeaky. What? I'm doing the show for all these great kids. What kids? They're, the kids out there. I don't see any kids. They're not up there, Squeaky. They're out there. No, don't be nervous. Take a nice deep breath. <laughs> Everybody help Squeaky take a nice deep breath. <sighs> see the, how that helps you to relax. Okay. Squeaky, you can exhale now. <sighs> Did you just burp in my face? I had a burrito for breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Hold the onions next time. Okay. Would you like to say hello? Say hello, Squeaky Bird. Hello, Squeaky Bird. No, no, no. You say hello to them. Hello to them. No. You say hello. They will say hello back. Hello. Oh, hi there. My name is Squeaky Bird. They call me Squeaky Bird because I squeak. Yeah. Got it. Okay, Squeaky, is there anything that you'd like to say to the kids? Oh, yeah. I hope you'll follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Wait a second. You tweet? I'm a bird. I invented tweeting. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to say? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, don't forget to eat your fruits and vegetables and wash behind your ears, but do not put fruits and vegetables behind your ears. Bad idea. That's great advice, Squeaky Bird. Thank you for that profound wisdom. Uh, is there anything? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, you can ask them. Squeaky has one more question for you. Uh, do, I was just wondering, do you guys um, like my color? Yeah, I like to rock the fuchsia look. I know it's a, it's a little different, but I like being different. Do you? Oh, that's good. And do you think that I am adorable? Then I think you should clap for me, please. Clap louder. Say we love you, Squeaky Bird. Love you, Squeaky Bird. Say goodbye, Squeaky. Goodbye, Squeaky. I told you he was silly. Okay, everybody, we're going to wrap things up with the hokey pokey. So everybody on your feet. Giving you a big hand, everybody. Parents, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, sisters, brothers, everybody is going to join us on the yeah, Hokey gonna, Pokey. We got some guitar picks we're going to give away for our best dancers. We got plenty of picks left. your kid power you can use your kid power phrases everybody please repeat after me 
please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I want to share with you. I want to share with you. You go first. Oh, you go first. Will you be my friend? Will you be my friend? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I love you. I love you. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. What can I do to help? What can I do to help? You like that one, adults? Uh, the good one? Okay. Uh, kids, you might want to use that phrase a little more common, a little more frequently, right? Because when moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas are happy, that's when we get cool stuff, you know? Pizza parties, sleepovers, that kind of thing. Yeah. Use your kid power phrases. And kid power stands for the power to be kind, kind. to ourselves, point to yourself, to others, and to the whole planet. Give me a big yeah. Yeah. Now we are going to put our whole kind kid power self in. All right, here we go. Sisters Maggie and Sophie, the brothers Enzo and Luca, and my name is Rachel. Thank you all so much for being here. 